hi hello in this video we are going to understand about process improvement approach because process improvement is the key to building great quality and achieving great results in any business imagine you have grown a tree which is basically an orange tree and what the orange tree will do orange tree will produce you no know, oranges but your management wants you to produce apple and tell me will you be able to produce apple from the same tree it is impossible that means if you want to change the fruits you have to change the roots if you want to change the results you have to change the process and that's why process improvement is unavoidable and a very important activity right six sigma is basically a process improvement approach this process improvement is what mathematically called as y equal to f of x where y is the result we want to improve y is the quality problem we want to solve y is mathematically a dependent variable we call y as dependent variable because y depends on several other independent variable which are called the x factors right the x factors are called independent variable which means you can tune them directly but what happens when you to tune the x factors your y factor will start getting tuned that means by optimizing the x you are able to optimize the y that's why y are called dependent variable and x are called independent variable it is something like adding sugar to the coffee adding sugar will increase the sweetness of the coffee sweetness is the y variable sugar content is the x variable you can change the sugar content to whatever amount you want but based on amount of sugar you add the sweetness of the coffee changes right and this is what is called the y equal to f of x if you know the relationship between x and y you can optimize any y variable and one it is only to understand the relationship between x and y we require some statistical tools and techniques which we will be learning in the later stage of this training program right so process improvement is an unavoidable activity and all of us must understand our responsibility to sustain the results and improve the results by sustaining the process capability and improving the process capability now so process has got two parameters one is process effectiveness another one is process efficiency to understand these terms first let us define what is exactly a process a process is nothing but a set of activities that are performed under specified conditions to convert the inputs into desired form of outputs right so the process when it converts the input to output if the output has some non conformances let's say a certain feature of the product is not actually meeting the customer requirement it is called process ineffectiveness but however if the output that is coming out of the process exactly meet the customer requirement it is called process effectiveness it is basically the ineffectiveness of the process which is termed as the defects so six sigma is all about improving the process effectiveness six sigma is all about defect reduction on the other hand process efficiency what is process efficiency how much resources you consume to convert your input into desired form of output so that you know your process is actually effective that means how do you produce a product how do you offer a service is is called as you no know, the efficiency if you consume only the exactly required resources your process is efficient if you over consume the resources your process is considered inefficient this inefficiency is termed as waste we must eliminate all forms of inefficiency which is called as lean approach so lean is all about improving the efficiency lean is all about eliminating the wasteful activities and what is six sigma six sigma is all about improving the effectiveness eliminating the defects six sigma ensures you produce defect free products lean ensures your process is efficient enough so 
we take care of the customer requirements which is the effectiveness part we also take care of the business requirement which is the efficiency part in any business effectiveness can never be compromised because your customer just cannot tolerate any non conformance at the same time efficiency must be optimized because end of the day business should be able to make you know uh, maintain a good profit margin which is fundamentally the result of your efficiency of operations that's why the statement comes effectiveness cannot be compromised and efficiency must be optimized and this is the main reason why most of the time six sigma and lean or integrated and deployed as a integrated approach called lean six sigma hope you have understood the process improvement approach connected to the lean six sigma projects right thank you